All right. Oh, they have not implemented the Battle Frontier. They have they have not implemented the Battle Frontier. You can use the ferry oh, to no. go from Slateport to Lily Cove <laughs> if you really want to. That's sad. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe not. Maybe not. I'm just being invited to the Battle Frontier by Scott now. Okay. Come on, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Uh, let, let, let me out. I don't. I don't want to fight any trainers. All right, here we go. I just want to get out of here. I'm done with Hoenn. I don't want to be in this region anymore. Let me go. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I mean, I love it here. It's great. Wait, no. I, I think this is the wrong way. I want to go up to the right. I do want to see if the Battle Frontier is actually. Yeah, yeah, you can go to the Battle Frontier. Oh, nice. I mean, you should probably play around with it just for a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to. Oh. I want to go to Sinnoh. They do have, I think they have a double battle thing. I really did not enjoy the Battle Frontier. I know I was a lot younger back then, but I, I just, yeah, it doesn't really do anything for me. Should have bought repels, but I don't care. I am running. Oh, Mr. Stotts, sir. All right, so I have to remember where... Do you have to dive to get to where you need to into the Elite Four place? There is no dive needed at all. Okay, so I can just travel through this water here to get to it. Good. Battle Frontier can't be that good because there are literally no players here. <laughs> it's all... It's, it's dead. There is no one here. <laughs> I've seen one person. To be fair, they might actually be doing stuff, you know. The, yeah, they in, might actually be in, in the battle frontier, frontier itself. So. Yeah. Um, let me check the map. I have... Ten battle points. What an amazing memento. Thank you, Scott. I'll never use these. I think that hey. that's probably where you can get all those, like, good items. He's like, hey, lots. congratulations on making it this far. In a memento oh, for wait. all of our time we've spent together. There is a one part. It's not actually the frontier buildings. There is a cave on the island that has uh, some normal trainers that you can do. That has some content. I just remember that. You you oh, probably okay. do that. So I think you have to use. I, if, I genuinely just don't know if I want to. I kind of just want to leave Hoenn. I'm not really interested in this part of the game. This is like non-canon area to me. <laughs> I just don't care about it. Holy shit, there's a lot of people fishing here. Yeah, it's, I think there's a lot of love discs are in that area. Battle Palace. Why is there water inside the doorway? Uh, don't question it. I don't want to do the double battle halls. I want to leave. I, I, I just want to go to Sinnoh. I'm done with it. I don't care about this place. I don't care about Hoenn. Fuck you, Hoenn. <laughs> I'm done with you. I'm sure this is a very great, wonderful, uh, content-rich place with many exciting things and uh, offers to, to buy. I'd but probably I live know. at Hoenn. I think that would probably be the region I would live in. I want to go to my favorite region now. Like, Sinnoh is dope, but I wouldn't want to live in Sinnoh, I don't feel. I don't want to accidentally over-level my team, to be fair. Uh, all right. Where'd you like to disembark? I'm going to Shinoh. I'm so looking forward to the graphics. Yeah. It's changing. That'd be nice. NPCs looking a bit more normal. I mean, it's a little stretched and a little blurry, but it looks immediately so much better. I love the Sinoh music. It brings me great joy. It's good music. It's good Barry, music. and he didn't thud into me. Uh-oh. Oh, no. They removed the thudding? Ugh. I mean, it might just be because he ran into my room rather than bumping into me oh, as okay. I walked through a door. If it doesn't it have a water... It won't be in the big font, though. Oh, if, it, if it's not... Oh, that's a two out of two. Or two out of ten. I don't think that they'll... I don't think they'll have somehow put in a custom dialogue for him to have a big thud text. If they didn't, I mean, that's 
you you sort of have to. That's that's whole. That's him. It is. I agree, but I'm I'm predicting that they yeah won't have yeah they probably won't. <laughs> Too much work. Well, when did they add Gen Four? Was it after Gen Three? Yeah, Gen Four is the fourth region they added because they did five first and then they kind of went backwards. From oh, okay, five. so that yeah, that's then maybe they might have gotten better at doing that stuff. So let's find out. I'm pretty sure he's gonna crash into me as soon as I walk out of the door. God, I love the Gen Four music. Mm -hmm. It's it's honestly great. It's so comfy. It's so I feel so like at home here. Oh right, yeah, this is platinum, so there's snow everywhere, no matter what season it is. Yep. Can't wait to get to uh, was distortion world. One... That's gonna be fun. I wonder how they'll have handled that. I guess just normal, right? <laughs> it doesn't need to change. Um, I mean, there is, like, weird 3D that they have to deal with. I feel like it probably will be in, but it'll be one of those places where you're probably, like, on your own. Maybe, maybe yeah. I'm just running oh. from everything. All right, I think I found where I have to go. Also, out of curiosity on my Pokedex, how many of the Gen 3 Pokemon, how many Pokemon have I not seen in each region? I'm really curious. So I've not seen a Omastar. That's the only Pokemon I can tell I've not seen so far in the decks. That's, yeah, makes sense. I think you can uh, find that wildly in, in Gen 4. Omanite? Yeah, I think you can, somewhere. I think it's somewhere you can find it. Uh, it doesn't say there's a wild location for it. Well, not wild, but like in a battle. Oh, right, as in someone else having one. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah, so... um, For the fossils, I think you're going to have to trade them. Yeah, makes sense. I guess in order to get the, the green thing for it to pass as you having your own, you just have to breed one, because I think you can breed the fossils? Yeah, you can. You can breed everything except right. for legendaries. Okay. And Magnemite, right? Uh, no. You can breed that. Oh, I thought Gentilus couldn't breed. My nope, bad. with Ditto. Oh, that's like the exception? Fair yep. Enough. Okay, so from Johto, I've not seen Pichu. Wait, do I have Water Hole Igly Buff. Yeah, I do. Scizor. Oh, I should use a Scizor. I mean, I only have two more regions right. left. but I like Finally. Scizor. And Blissey. Okay. How cool. many did I not see in... Oh my god, Gen 3, there's a lot of things I never saw. Finally, I'm at the bottom. No one used the Shedinja. No one used an Exploit? That feels kind of weird. Yeah, that, I remember that one not being like really shown in the games. I've only ever seen that in the anime and in Pokemon XD. Right. Uh, None of Oren's evolutions. All right. No so you smaller. said uh, to get through here fast, it was under the bridges, not over? Yeah, you go under, like, so you go up the waterfall to the left, down the other waterfall, and then under a bridge. Oh, my you... God. I just got swarmed by four or five Hariyamas. Arceus has been abandoned and is waiting for its next trainer in Celestic Town. I should go pick that up. Oh, yeah. Hey, why don't you head over there? <laughs> oh, it's already been claimed. What Aww. a shame. I really thought that was my chance to get one. Alright, um... Oh. Oh, Relicanth is in this game. Okay. I don't know why I didn't think they'd have implemented it. I have no idea what makes me think that, but... Yeah, well, I, uh, None well, of the Hoenn legendaries are in this, apparently. Why wouldn't the Relicanth be in it? <laughs> I'm confused oh, by that. Oh, wait, no, they just don't... They it's just, don't just in a specific location underwater. Space. I don't know. For some reason, I just thought there was like something special about Relicant. There really isn't. No, that, that's 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 the point. It's it's so unspecial that everyone forgets about it. The thud. I've just I've just been thudded. What got thudded? Oh, you got thudded. Oh, very very. very was it was thudded. it big text? A little tiny text. Aww. <laughs> I didn't think that I'd put that in. Which is weird because they have the like little cust like the like in-game 
exclamation point when he goes to walk away, like the little white bubble above his head. So yeah. they could have just done that and had it say thud in the big writing, but they didn't. Also, they nice and nice sturdy. Regular text. Sturdy? Yeah, magneton. Well, I never. <laughs> magneton sturdy. I have not seen anything you sturdy. I think you're lying. Well, I think you're sturdy because you're being thudded, so you got falling over over there. I'm feeling pretty sturdy. And he's you... about to give me a 10 million fine. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I, I always found that funny because as a kid, you're like, my God, that's a lot of money. And then when you're older, oh, my God, that's way a lot of money. <laughs> I think I was already a cynic by the time I played this because I remember just being like, shut up, Barry. <laughs> that's <laughs> so fun. I love Barry. Barry was so cool. I, I just related to him a lot because that was basically me. He's, okay. He's got a lot of energy. I had a lot of energy as a kid, too. <laughs> too much energy. That's why I can talk a lot. Oh, hey, here's Wally. I thought Wally was at the end of the, the end of it. No, he's right at the entrance. Did they change that in Emerald? Because I remember it was literally you came out of the cave and then he battled you. That would probably make sense that they changed it because that would really suck to get through that whole cave and then have him like yeah. stomp you out. Well, I have a king Where, like, dragon you can, I don't believe you can fly to the other side. I think you can only fly to whoever brands like Pokemon Center. Right. So you have to pass through Victory Road. But yeah, my my uh, King Dread this one hit KO'd his ult area. Nice. That King Dread's gonna serve you really well. Yeah. It, it, I mean, it's literally at the level cap, so it's like, <laughs> it's it's high above everyone else right now. Oh, you're using the 58? That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. I mean, I was like, I'm going to use it. I'm not going to really. I'll leave the one lower level so that maybe in the future, if I need it really bad, because having a, a nice dragon type is useful at any time. It's really weird because, like, Gen 4 and 5 are pretty long. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm in Sinnoh, I'm like, wow, this uh, series feels like it's closer to coming to an end. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's really like not. We have so many hours to go, but like it feels like it's like starting to wrap up. I just can't wait for Gen Five because I, you know, I've told my whole story about me having a very bad relationship with Gen Five. Yeah, me too. But it's like being able. I think now since I've grown to appreciate a lot of like what Gen Five has, it'll be nice mm -hmm. to return to. Yeah, I've been really looking forward to revisiting Gen 5 eventually. The only reason I haven't done a Gen 5 playthrough in years is because everyone keeps expecting there to be a Gen 5 remake eventually. And the way they go, it probably will happen. Yeah. It's like just kind of holding off because I'm like, I might as well just play that. I, I think it's the reason also why they're not doing it yet is the fact Gen 5 was the worst selling Pokemon game. Like, by far. Oh, right. <laughs> So it's probably but, why copies of it are so expensive. Yeah, that too. It's like it's, it's most expensive by far, as well as the fact that it was a very controversial game because it would it was only new Pokemon in the first game, and that peeved a lot of people off because like I want to use my my old Pokemon, and it was sort of the the, the old Nat Dex like the whole you know Dex cut thing before the whole Dex cut thing was a real thing. Um... And honestly, it was for the better, the real, like the whole actual Nat Dex, because it allows them to specifically tailor the the whole, you know, meta of the game better. But uh, I... Do you know what center starter you're picking? I'm probably picking Jimchar. I love Jimchar. I'm going to change it up. I normally go Totwig. I'm going to go Piplup. Mm, nice. Actually, I, I do like the Piplup line. I'm trying to think, do I, I? I normally pick like all three of them are like peak. So for me, at least, I disagree. I hate Chimtro. <laughs> I, I I just I really don't like monkeys. Ow! Black check. No, it's not that time of day. No. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's yeah. that time of day, I suppose. It's like to me, it's like. I, I I I just love all of them. I mean, I understand why people might not like Chimchar. It's it's the classic uh, humanoid uh, Pokemon sort of design. So I mean, 
I mean, and technically, I don't mind that. Yeah, personally, it, it's it's something that you, the further you <clears> go <throat> into being more humanoid, the more you don't like it. And uh, and for you, it's the monkey part, which fall to me that falls in the same sort of category of like you don't like the sort of more uncanny nature of it, uh, which is what a lot of um, humanoids designs are. A lot of people is mostly just the uncanny nature. The other thing is, um, oh my god, Barry's battle sprite is amazing, his little animation. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the other thing about it is, and this, I don't know, this was just, I remember getting, because I always picked the fire, that was like a thing I stuck with when I was young, I was like, I picked a fire starter every time. Mm -hmm. And then I played, um, Diamond was my first one, I played that, and I picked Chimchar. And it evolved into Infernape. And even though it's not really, there was something about its design that just made me go, this just, this is too much like Blaziken. It's, it feels really uninspired as a design. It feels too close to Blaziken and like, um, just features and the way it, just, it looks. You see, I, I never I really felt that. It. The only, the only issue I had was that it was just the same typing. That was the main thing I had issues with but oh, that, yeah, that was the main cool. typing everyone had issues everyone hated that it always was fire fighting fire fighting like so many mods were just fire fighting and so it's like that i was like yeah i'm gonna put out those fires <laughs> i know right but i i sort of wish like infernape i wish it was fire fight uh was was firefighting but blaze again i felt was more should have been like fire flying maybe or something like that because fire flying would be interesting a little bit it's not really it but it there, there could have been better choices for it um even then infernape i feel like i sort of want to experiment and seeing if we could do like a like a, a fake mon version of infernape being like fire dark and based off the like um since there is technically an evil wukong uh like in within the mythology of like journey to the west which is like the whole thing that uh, the Infernape's based on, similar to how um, Pig Knight is, uh, and you know that line is based off that. So I sort of wanted to go like you know the evil side of Infernape and make it fire dark, which is a fun typing, but and actually like try to improve on the design because Infernape, while I do love, I feel it does lack a little something. I'm not sure what. That's something I need to explore in design-wise, but it is something I think would be worth uh, looking into. Okay. But yeah, I think Infernape it just doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, I like, wish it did. Gen fives, I hate. I hate almost. I hate like two of them, and I just love Snivy line. Like I hate the other two. Like Gen five was just the starters I hated. I'm picking Snivy Gen five. See, it's not the to... same. It's the same thing in Gen five. Um. As it is with what I just said about like how Infernape just feels almost too similar to Blaziken in design. This is a personal thing. I've never oh, yeah. actually heard anyone say this. It's just how I feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. And it's the same problem I had with uh, Gen 5's water starter. Was I felt like Oshawott's line up until Samurott was really similar to Piplop. Yep, that was one issue I had I did not like. And also the fact that I hated Oshawa just design-wise entirely because it did not look like a sea otter to me it it just it took away what a sea otter should be design wise and just completely ruined what a sea otter pokemon would be because we never got another sea otter because oshawa is a thing so i always had that very like big issue with it because i wanted a really cool sea otter and yeah it, it was like and also the fact that it was it felt like it was sort of um treading on the domain of like not you know it's like sort of silly thinking uh, like weasel in a bit so and because it was sort of like i felt like oh man it's trying to be what weasel is and weasel's really cool and that was like a younger mindset of it but it was um i still i, I don't know i just there's something about Gen 5 that just really irks me because it, it does so many things that other things already did. And that's the main thing that a lot of people had with Gen 5 was that why are you doing this when, for example, you have um, uh, when you have all these other mods that are basically that, uh, basically what you are trying to replicate. 
for example, Tauros and Buffalo. Buffalo, I think it was. So there was no reason. Yeah. Because it, but the reason is they wanted Gen 5 to be like a reboot of uh yeah i didn't like that at all yeah it's it's annoying it's dumb and uh, yeah a lot of them just weren't good you know off the top of my head i remember really hating um like the seismitoad line yeah i mean that was a grower i i originally um, did dislike it but i did end up liking it more than than hating eventually because he, and he is very i really useful. don't like as well yeah that one's hit or miss that I, I like the colors, I like the concept, but I just don't like the design. There are some that I've I've really grown to like over time. Lilligant, um, I love. Lilligant is a good yeah, one. Yeah, I really like Lilligant. That's something I really uh, use. Florantis. Yeah. Florantis is a nice one as well. Is that from Gen 5? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh, I used that in my Gen 7 playthrough. Uh, let me just double check. I'm pretty sure that is. Oh, I thought it was a Gen 7. I think that's why I tried to use Florantis. it. Florantis. Uh, it's probably because it wrong. was a totem Pokemon, Pokemon in that that I thought it was Gen 7. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. That was Gen 5. I mean, Gen 7. Oh, well, what am I thinking of, then? Uh, Hello, Nyx. How's it going? Do, I mean, look. Gen 5 Pokemon. They'll, they'll all just help me. There's a one. Oh, Maractus. That one is a slept on one for a good while. At least for me. Yeah, that's not right. Because it's it's there a. There's so many notifications about Arceus in this region. Uh, open up here. I take it there just wasn't like a capture the flag type legendary available in Ho Hoenn then, because I never saw that pop up the whole time we were there. I saw it a few times. Um. What was it? I can't remember what it is because I saw it earlier in the stream. There was something like blah 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 defeated blah blah blah. Oh, that was a cup ending. Someone winning a cup. I saw that. Oh, one. Oh, right okay, the okay. Also, like, is yeah, I saw that pop up, and uh, that's like really noticeable, and that's why I don't feel like there was one. Is I never remember seeing it in Hoenn, which would make sense with what we've been saying this whole playthrough. If they really didn't seem to put a lot of love into Hoenn. <laughs> yeah, no. All right, yeah, I'm going to replace... Uh, I don't blame them, by the way. <laughs> I kind of get it now. I mean, I, I, the the fact that we hate it so much is the fact that it is so unloved, I feel. Because there's definitely a lot more love that I could have been put into and made it better. Maybe, yeah. Uh, All right. No, I don't want to give this Piplup a nickname. Yeah, I think I might actually go Turtwig when I get there. Because okay. I... I I like Infernape. Yes. I like Chimchar, but I also love Turtwig, and both of them are like really good mons. I made a big mistake by not picking Turtwig myself. Why? Oh, because right. I told myself I was going to use Melodic this region. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm not doing that because I'm going to stick with Piplup. Uh, Jolteon. Mm. I mean, a Water Steel type is really good. I have to teach so many mods at HMs because I swapped out my HM. There'll be mods. other Pokemon games I play where I can use a melodic anyway. It's fine. It's not the only time I can use oh, one. Oh god, why is Rock Smash such a shitty move? No, uh It's forty power. That's shitty. I just I just I just like saying that. I know. <laughs> it does suck. Uh God. Yes, absolutely, Rowan. I will definitely use this Pokedex register all the data for you. Just don't ask the other professors how that's gone for them. Don't even think about asking them. Uh, I'll, I'll baton pass. Get rid of that. I don't care about that anymore. I'm not, I'm not smart enough to do that right now. I like that they're like giving me an introduction to like Pokemon and stuff, but because I carried my items over from the previous region, I already have a cricket top. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, um, yeah, this is really... The, you can catch Pokemon uh, with Pokeballs. And whoa, really? Pokedex. I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm a three-time regional champion. <laughs> and I have a Cricketon already. I know how to catch Pokemon. It's fine. You don't have to tell me twice. Samuel with his swallow. That's... I never knew one of the scientists in the lab was Lucas's father. Yep. By the way, I laughed earlier when you were talking. I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but um, I laughed because... 
I think I'm picking up on Barry's charm that I never really got before. There was a line where he was describing, I can't remember what all he was talking about, but he said, um, he was like spelling out Pokemon. Mm -hmm. And he he says, P-O-K accent E. And I just like the use of accent thrown in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was good. He's definitely a thing that, as a, like a kid, you were like, "Oh man, this guy is so annoying. He keeps on talking and talking and talking, and blah blah blah." And it's like, then you grow up and say, like, "Yeah, he's, he's you know, it's a silly dude." Yeah, I'm like Lucas. <laughs> All right, kill this small right, while. That's great. You can get out of here now. Go away. Go away, Lucas. See you later. Boom, 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 boom. Um, what do happens if you? Uh, items. Oh wait, right. So after you defeat all the elite, uh, vict like you know, champions, you go up to Mount Silver. That's right. Do you know something that I should have checked out, but I'm not really regretting that I didn't. What? In Hoenn, there is a bonus boss fight with Steven in, in um at his uh, house. That kit. That cave in Duford. Oh, right, right. I remember finding him and him destroying me. Ryan mentioned earlier in the chat as well. He said that he is like level 70s, and that will be why he destroyed me. Oh, my God. Um, I remember doing that battle, but I don't remember ever winning it and never going back to it because I you don't, don't need to. I don't think I ever did that when I was a kid. Yeah, there's a room... Um, do you know the cave I'm talking about? I can't remember his name. The one on Duford. Yeah, the one you have to use Flash the first time. Yeah, yeah. There's a room right at the end uh, of the cave uh, that's just nothing when you go in there regularly. And then he's just stood in the center of that and he battles you. And mm -hmm. he has really crazy powerful Pokemon in the originals. I don't know what he'd have in this. Probably pretty strong Pokemon still. Hopefully a shiny Metal Grass. Maybe. Because that's what I remember him being iconic for in the anime. Okie doke. Well, it's time to head out on that Sinoid. Nope, we're still getting a bunch of talk. <laughs> I forgot how much they cut you off and keep talking at the start of this region. <laughs> Yep, it's a it's a whole tutorial region explaining every single little thing. Wait, wait, what's happening here? I, I wasn't actually paying attention. Why is he not letting me through? Oh, I have to go tell my family. Yep, can't leave them wow, hanging. Wow, I have to turn back. I love when that happens. Hey, you want to get on with the game? No, go back. I'm gonna try not to fall into the trap of using uh, Starly and. Luxray. Let's <laughs> <laughs> try try to actually use something different. Alright, head down they all here. Say I know, but I might use a Star Raptor. That'd be a fun. I kind of want to. It is a really cool one, but Luxray. Um, I mean, is... I never really. I liked Luxray, but I never really was a vibe with it. I was always one of those. Me a Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> I was always the person that got annoyed that I wasn't a dark type. It does feel like it should be a dark type. Yeah. Because it's Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> it's like, it's supposed to, I mean, I understand it's supposed to be like, you know, it sees x-rays and all that. It sees through walls and stuff, which is cool. But I feel like it being a dark, electric dark because, of, you know, it's how dark the colors are and, you know, electric type part. It would be fun to have. But, yeah. I am. Um, I don't want to be a potty pooper, but I really don't like Bidoof. I don't like the. I never really like was on board with the meme. I like Bidoof. He's cool, but he's not. You know, he's nothing special. That's sort of the point. He's just like you know, he's a, a nothing mon. That's and so pi hyping him up to be something special is sort of this thing. Yeah, but it was it was one of those like really like it felt like a very forced meme to me. I just never really enjoyed it very much. I mean, I'm just exclusively talking about the Bidoof meme. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Bidoof like, itself um, as a meme is sort of like he's the Rick Ashley of Pokemon, which is why we got a Rick Ashley uh, Bidoof uh, meme recently, like t 
two years ago or last year or something like that that Pokemon uh, Game Freak put out on YouTube. Oh. Yeah, it was literally a remix in Beedoo of doing the Brick Ashley. It was funny. I, uh, I think as well, um, it's also like Infinite Fusion kind of made me sour in a little bit because it had so much effort put into custom sprites for it and they mm -hmm. were all just like, I don't know. I just kind of started. I was like, it, it's not really that funny. <laughs> I hate to be <laughs> such a downer, but I just, I don't know. I mean, I've seen more effort put into Bidoof shit posts than I have things that would definitely have paid off a lot better. I mean, that's sort of the point. It's like, there's, if you don't, people put in the effort because it is funny to them. And so they probably wouldn't have put effort into anything else because it wasn't as yeah, funny to them. True. That's true. It's like, for example, like, Making Vinemon, I wouldn't probably have the effort to make a full original game if it wasn't for the core concept of it. Because it was like, that wasn't really a, a, a main goal to make like just a Pokemon game. It was more so, you know, there's more underlying stuff. I mean, obviously that's a bigger scope. It's not just a, a single sprite, but you know, same general concept. To be honest, I'm really not remembering a lot of the starting game to Platinum. Platinum's another one I haven't played in really long. I've played um, Diamond and Pearl quite a bit. I don't know the last time I played Platinum. Um, I really liked a, a hot take. I really liked the Gen 4 remakes. Yeah, they're good. People um, just are, uh, have too many uh, weird opinions that sour general opinion. The one that always disappointed me was how people complained about the chibi. I thought the chibi was perfect. I yeah, that was that's fine to me. It's it's better than what or nice it's better than how Oras did it, which I never really liked the overworld style for Oras, because it was like it was, it was changing it to be not as accurate to the games, but then also not going too far. So it felt like a weird in between. In between, oh, I'm gonna catch this Lyron. I never even saw a Lyron in my whole time there. <laughs> Yeah, this oh, popped wait, up. Oh, wait, no, I used repels that whole cave. That's why. Yeah. This is, I, I remember this is, like, literally, like, you find this mom, like, here really often, and then somewhere else, like, the pre-evolve, and that's it. So, I want to catch it. Thank God. I was worried I was going to have to watch Lucas catch a Pokemon for a second there. <laughs> what a relief. Yeah, I might actually use this light run in the future gen, because I do like that line. Oh, yeah, I should have a look at my PC if there's anything I'd like to use now that I'm in Sinnoh. You know, like, if there's any low-level things. Yep. Because I like doing that. I like starting out with, like, a full team of six and using some things that, like, weren't really given a chance before. Yeah, it's fun. So, I head up this ladder. Oh, Pokeball. Nice. My, oh, Psychic. That's my, a good um... TM. God oh, dang it. They're not highlighted anymore. That's weird. Wait, is that even? Yeah, that is my full team, and yes, that's my full joke too. Okay, so they are all where they're supposed to be. All right, it's weird they're not highlighted anymore. Is uh, mm -hmm. wait, oh wait, yeah. oh it's because they're grayed out anyway, right? Yeah, they're grayed out. Yeah, because they're like level fifty, and I'm at the beginning. What is the level cap for this one? It's twenty. That's kind of high. But then again, I don't think you fight um Rowan Rowark. For quite a while yeah work for a while R rock 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 his name is rock and hey, rock so how do you spell it work hey what up no, rock? I'm calling him i'm calling him rock he's he is just a rock that's it that's he's the defining characteristic is that he is a rock i like his dad his dad's cool i don't know his dad um i can use a steelix it's only level 15. Fit of a, that feels like a little bit of an overkill <laughs> thing to have as an option. Uh, you know what? I'll use Togepi for now. That'll be a fun one. Um, God, I wish it was easier to identify which ones were usable. This so, like the grayed out is so faint. It is a uh, sort by level. No, I have my boxes sorted in a very particular way. Well, up to a certain point. I mean, just with a certain mods in a different box. That's what I do. Um, that's fine. I 
can, I can, I can see just not that well. I just like complaining. That's fair. Uh, sure as hell ain't using shockle. I'll tell you that much. And let's do rock smash. Color change. Oh dang it! There's many things I'd really want to use in this box. What about box number two? Ooh, C dot. See, that's a good no, one. I don't really like it that much. Oh. I did say I was going to use Gallade in this gen. That's right. So I've got to suffer through having a really bad Curlia again. Mm. It'll be worth it. Are you sure? Maybe. Ooh, Breloom would be fun. Right. So I realized, did I do something wrong here? There are practically no fire types in Gen 4, so... If I could find a... I think I fire type. deleted something here. I'm going to use Numel. Numel kind of stinky. Must have. One second, guys. Let me check this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I did accidentally delete something. Let me copy this. Any other fire options? Not really. Hmm. Yeah, really not a lot of variety for fire type Pokemon that I'm interested in. Uh, oh, yeah, I mean, that's Magmas. expected. <laughs> Magma is cool and all, but it's level 33. I don't really like it that much. Alright, there we go. Hmm. That's better. I knew something Only was missing. Nice, but it's level 32. Alright, and let's get back in. Alright, um... Deadly Bird can take it out. I don't really think of anything else to fill my team with. I mean, I guess I could just take what I've got. Hey, catch some mons on, on the way, I guess. Yeah. They pro and, and you probably have some lures on you, so you could probably find some in the grass. Oh, yeah, true. Could find out where um, the other starters are. Just use a tut wig as well. Yeah. <laughs> just Gen 3 it again. I just don't want to use Ch Chimtra, so I mean. No one's making me, though. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna make you. Uh, <laughs> no, please, no, I don't want to. Uh, wild locations. You can find Tutwig at level 23 and Route 208. That's quite a while away. Yeah, it's I a think. little while. What route am I at right now? This is... 202. Yeah. I was gonna say, for it to be level 20-something, it's gotta be pretty far away. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and Tim Char is route 211 at level 19. Deadly Bird is down. Ugh. What about Piplup? Just out of curiosity. Piplup is 213 at level 29. Oh my god. What about Tim Char? Don't get Chim Piplup Char? for a long time. Tim Char is level, uh, route 211, level 19. So it's implying that Tim Char would be the one you would find first because it's four levels lower in the wild than Turtwig. All right, then I'll pick Turtwig then, and I'll pick up Tim Char on my way. Yeah, it definitely helps to know that. It can really help make a choice easier. All right, defeated mm. that guy. Uh, oh, that's Wait, a double battle. Do we battle. have to not to? I have to no, I have to go that way. God dang it. I'd love to use a Zatu. Let me let this not work quick. Mercury, oh, Rose, it's level 25. I couldn't use it. Mon, Emerald. Mm. Mm. I'm going to look over my box just to make sure there's definitely nothing else I want to use. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's funny. Oh, hmm. that's what I did wrong. Okay, I'm gonna head back then. Damn. I don't think there's anything else I'd necessarily want to use. Right. I mean, just so many water type Pokemon. Uh, 
I mean, Pokemon is water centric. Oh, wait, Gen yeah, I'm gonna get a, a Finneon. That is a Mon I want. It's gonna be a while to get one, but I want a Finneon. This is Gen Four. Yep. So you got a while. Yep. But it is a Mon that I will put on my team because. I would love to get a dark ride, but uh, yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, no, there's no way. There's just no way. Okay, that'll do for now. That'll do. That is a huge mammoth spine. Oh, that's an alpha mammoth spine. That's why. Ooh, alpha. <laughs> Mr. Sandman. <laughs> Not quite what I was going for, but <laughs> sure. Uh, I was adapting it. Come on, run away. There we go. If I get a copyright claim now, it's your fault. I, I wouldn't doubt it, honestly. I I, I know someone who was uh, saying, um, what was it? It was the... Uh, that one meme song that someone made of like Undertale's music, it was an acapella, and Glory, Glory, you know Glory, um, he sang yeah, yeah. it in one of his friend's videos, and copyright detection detected his voice as a song. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like, oh my I mean, god! I guess it's a compliment. <laughs> yeah, it's a compliment. But I'm like, Jesus Christ, how? <laughs> oh man, that was funny. Um, I had that happen sort of similar uh, in the sense that um, Bryce once sent me uh, the, the the Freddy Fazbear like beatbox thing. Oh, right. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that got me a claim. <laughs> Amazing. It's like, dude, why are you copyright claiming people... <laughs> using a beatbox version of a ship post i don't know anymore people are it's just weird i mean i understand partially due to the fact that it's a system that you're automatically enrolled in when you may submit any music to any service so if you put it on spotify because people ask oh can you upload it to spotify so i can listen it, to do that you have to use like cd baby or anything of those services to put your music up and so once you do that you put it in the service and they will it's like part of the whole automatic system it puts you in a detection system for youtube and it'll just mark it as you know put royalties because you're using it and you have to like vinnie's argue this a whole bunch of times uh, uh try to get his music free as possible where it's you have to argue and message back and forth back and forth over and over to get them to listen but yeah it's like it, it's honestly such a pain and it's just something built into the core system of it all uh, it, it, it's honestly frustrating just for everyone involved because they think, oh, yeah. you made you made this music. Oh, of course you want the royalties from it. Like, no, not everyone wants to punish people just for sharing your music. It's like unfair. I know what I want to do today. All right, let's see. I am so I went up the ladder, mm. and then <laughs> came out this way. I gotta go. I could go. <laughs> Up the ladder again. Oh yeah, I just realized. Oh my god, I don't have to suffer through um, Kalia. I'm going for yeah. a delayed. I can just use a stone straight away. Oh yeah. Do I have a dawn stone? I hope I do. Wow. I do. You do. So I only have to get this thing to level twenty. It's a level five. <laughs> Once it's there, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Hopefully it works, yeah. It would be pretty levels. good. Yeah, I think uh, Glade will probably work really well for you. I think it will. I think uh, Glade's very good. 
I was so glad that I had a look through my PC now because I was gonna not and just be like, yeah, I'll just use whatever I come by. And then I thought about it for a minute. I was like, no, I should probably have a look at what I've got in case I had anything put aside. And I sure did. Wow, that was a lot of seven experience points I had to sit through there. Um, I feel like I need to change my team up a little bit here. I sure do. All right, let's see. Mob boos. I like reading people's usernames sometimes. <laughs> yeah, some Cyrus of the names are funny. is a great username, actually. I gotta say, whoever that is, shout out to you. That's a good name. All right, and Absol is dead. Oh, Burmy. There's a Pokemon I always forget exists. <laughs> yeah, Warmer Dam is pretty good. Well, it ain't worth wise. a damn. Ow, Blackjack. <laughs> Blackjack didn't like that joke. No, he did not. Um, So I need to... Struggle bug on a level 5 Burmy. Fuck off. <laughs> so yeah, I want to go through here. At least I think Struggle Bug's a fairly strong move. And I push this down, break that, and then go through. Okay. I need a, I need a, I need a flying type. It's run. Maybe I don't I want to deal with this grappler. And then push this. Oh wait, I have to have a piece. Also, I don't like how type. the sprite for strength. It actually, if your mon is too wide, it will cut off the sprite when you use oh. strength. Yeah, I don't like that either. It's like, I didn't even know that, and I don't like that. Yeah, like, I have strength on my uh, Venusaur, and so it's, like, it's a very wide mod, so it's, like, it's literally cut off on the left and right. I'm like, why? What is happening? It's, good. it's not like people are playing on a super small screen. Okay. You're not a trainer to battle, are you? I think it. Wow, potion. All right, and the little um, item get jingle in the fourth region, the Sinnoh region, mm -hmm. is really crusty in this game. Oh boy, I can't wait to hear. I don't know what they did to it, but it sounds really crusty to me. <laughs> I wonder the how they. The sound and music has been fine. So maybe I'm just hearing, you know hearing what i want to hear maybe it's not actually bad at all but to me it sounds really crusty it might yeah it might be just a lower quality sample that they recorded seems like it all right almost there i made it this far a couple of times uh, wait i made it this oh, far it's a your beloved times, but the last stretch is so long yep there's the guy you're talking about yeah. edgar i found your favorite character uh, uh who's my favorite character I thought you'd know. He's your favorite character. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm bumped into Looker. Oh, Looker. I love Looker. Yeah. Also, gotta be right back. Gotta do something real quick. So. Sure. Really don't remember Looker. I think he was only in Platinum. I have no hate for Looker. Although I know he gets a lot of hate. There you go. <laughs> Running into walls. It's nice to see uh, people actually animated when they move around and not just flying across the floor anymore. God, I'm so nostalgic for the DS. I, I booted up my original DS. No, my Game Boy Advance SP, that's what it was. I put it on my Game Boy Advance SP a while back when I was... Mis I mis mentioned it on, like, a stream, but, like, when I was messing around with, like, my old cartridges and stuff and checking out, like, what Pokemon I have and all that. And, um... I, um... I forgot how small 
the Game Boy Advance SP's screen is. It's really weird to look back at. Uh, if if you own one, you ever want to be like, wow, the evolution of technology is crazy. That's a good one to look at because it is so different. I don't want to go to trainer school. Look up. Look at stop. I just want to go find an Eevee. All right, fine. Do I even have any laws? I think no, because I think they go in the adventure item slot. I mean, I can probably buy one. I'll, you know what? I'll be a good little noodle and I'll have a real look around Juba life. I mean, this place looks great in this. The upscaling, very nice. Bye. 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 <clears throat> That's my yawning sound. Nice place. I mean, these graphics are very similar to the ones that were in Johto, uh, but, you know, I remember remarking at how nice Johto looked after leaving Kanto, and it's very similar here. Only now we won't really be going backwards in graphics anymore. I think I have to visit the trainer school because Looker wouldn't let me go by. Global terminal. Not even allowed to go to the global terminal. I mean, there is an item in here, I guess. It's amazing. I never really spoke about this, but it's amazing to know that when I like read this out loud, the dialogue for a lot of these, this game takes like a million years longer. It's so much faster when I don't read. Like, I'm still reading this. It's just I'm reading in my head this whole playthrough. I have been reading what people are saying. Sometimes I don't, as you've, you know, seen when Lucas stopped me and made me turn back. Sometimes I skim over a little too fast. Mostly at the start, because I'm very keen to get going with this. But, um... It's been, um... It's been good. Alright, uh, I'm back. What up? Welcome back. You startled me. <laughs> Looker's not letting me leave the town until I go to school, but I don't want to go to school. You know, you have to. I have nothing to learn. I am a three-time champion. Well, I taught you some things you didn't know. Yeah, but you're not Pokemon school. True. Well, absorb is a really bad move. <laughs> um, it's, it's okay early on. It took like seven to knock out this bidoof. Well, yeah. Eh, strength on this Pelipper. I wonder if we could have done better against you. No. Never. No, you couldn't. Double edge. What if, what if that was like my character trait in this world? I was just constantly like, I'm a league champion. Just <laughs> everyone that talks to me. <laughs> hey, did you know? Yes, actually, I'm a champion. God, that'd be so obnoxious. <laughs> It's okay, Cynthia's here to humble me. Yep, true. Alright. And oh, who are you? I have nothing to say to anyone that's come this far. Come on. Gee, you don't need to be rude about it. Oh, we got a guard of war. Nice pick. Oh, you're fighting those two. Yeah, and I only have one mod that's at health half HP. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> well, I got Giga Drain, so I'll use that to heal up. Yeah, but do you know what other Pokemon they have? Do you remember? Yeah, Slacking. <laughs> yeah. Or Slaking, I should say. 
Yes, yes. You wouldn't want to... Oh, it one-hit KO'd me as God of War. Okay. Well, it wasn't one-hit KO, but, you know. It's whatever. I'm good. I battled all those trainers. I healed up now. So... I like that, like, I still haven't uploaded my Infinite Fusion stream from yesterday, which is mm -hmm. a five-hour lord. Yeah, it's and a big lord. This one is this one's now closing in. Oh, no, it's it's just past four. But still, like, I've got, like, <laughs> so many huge vods to upload. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's why I'm happy I got my, uh, my setups currently, where I have... I had one that was scheduled for today that went up. I accidentally... For some reason, it was scheduled for tomorrow, and then I woke up. I post. I had the link automatically linked on Twitter, and I went to an in a private link. So I'm like, oh, that didn't help. But yeah, uh, and then I have one going up on Thursday. I that is proper now, and then I have next week's all set up as well. So it helps in well, that way because then I'm not like rushing to upload a VOD or anything like that. Yeah, that's fair. I might um. I might try not to upload all of my, like, streams in one go. Like, I think I don't want to cut up my VODs. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but I think, like, what I might do is if I do, like, multiple games in one day, I might, you know, when I'm uploading them, do, like, one upload a day. Yeah, than, that's fair. Like, here's, like, two hours of Luigi's Mansion, and then here's seven hours of Thousand Year Door. Like, I might just do, like, one day upload one thing, and then one day the other. Yeah, and um, all, that just allows you to also just, like, Say, for example, you uh, can't stream for a week or whatever. That allows yeah, you to have that thing, break. Yeah. And that's yeah, the main thing. Why. sometimes stops me from being able to. So that would definitely help with that. Yeah, that's the main thing Like I want. Just in case, like, I say a week and there's no streams or whatever, for whatever reason, either personal or physical or whatnot. It was like, yeah, just do something like that. Just have it so that I can have a week to do whatever um and then you know come back and then have a, a whole much like more vods and do stuff there we go oh man what oh man they didn't implement the poke catch time they didn't implement the the what you call the uh the talker yeah. thing i really like all the little like apps on that they're fun to mess with they I are like having a little doodle oh <laughs> I like the calculator the most because if you add up to a Pokemon uh, number, it would do the cry. That was always cool. Like 90% of my, um, hang on, does the Pokemon grow by defeating others and getting its room? Yes. Oh, maybe I don't have the Poketch yet. I thought that's what this guy just gave me. Oh, you get the, uh, the clowns give them to you. Yeah, that's what, wait, what did this guy just give me then? I need to go back and talk to him. Oh, oh, he told me to. Oh, okay, I don't have it yet. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Maybe they did implement it then. Yeah, my whole, my whole, my whole Gen 4 remake, because the Poketch appears in like the top right corner of the screen. Mm -hmm. I think you can have it on or off, but I always had it on. Um, I, I just kept putting really bad drawings of like Homer Simpson and <laughs> Mogus every episode. <laughs> like I, I would always just like as soon as I booted it up, I'd just make a new drawing and just keep it in the corner. It was that was fun. I liked that. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh my god, I moved one block and it's another encounter. Stop! These encounters too many. By the flat cap. No, you can buy that in loads of places. And the Boda. Wait, can you not buy... You? Oh, that's weird. What's weird? Huh. Um, the cosmetics in the first town are normally, like... You know, you can buy, like, the signature hat. Right. Of, like, that character's, like... Well, not always. I think Hoenn had one, like, three towns away. Oh, okay. Because I, I can buy the flat cap straight away, which is Lucas's... Yeah, but they a... don't have uh, Dawn's little hat. And I was kind of thinking of getting Dawn's hat instead of the bandana. Just to like, I'm in I'm in Sinnoh now. But I guess I can't do that. Yeah. yeah I think it's to be a little while then. Yeah. I mean, I'm only in Jubilife right now. Maybe it'll be later on. All right. And, oh, went the wrong way. Should have went down. My Pokemon. I really think you know, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna just stop myself right okay. there. <laughs> My Pokemon are cosmically awe-inspiring. 
Let's see. Is a Lunatone and Soul Rock? Is that what you're hitting at? Oh, yep, a Lunatone. For context, though, because I don't like being one of those people like, oh, I'm not going to say that. No, I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. let yeah. anyone even know what it was. Um, I was going to say that, like, uh, it didn't really feel like there was a lot of cosmetic stores in Hoenn, and then I realized that Hoenn didn't really have many anything, so <laughs> that's probably just not really a surprise. It had contests, and those were good. I think that's why Johto had so much, is because it was the most region, recent uh, region they added. And yeah. They'll have refined their skills as they've added them. Exactly. So you might find that Sinnoh has more than Unova had. Probably. Then again, Unova might have more because we haven't had a remake of it, and so fans are like, they probably want, oh man, keep on adding more stuff to it. Keep on adding more. I, I think they're probably going to have the Poke mm -hmm. or whatever it's called in Gen 5. For... Mm -hmm. Why are you doing this? Ow! I don't feed you at 7 in the morning. Why do you do this every morning? <laughs> He's already got a bowl full of food, by the way. He just hasn't even gone and looked. <laughs> he's just decided that he's hungry. <laughs> I didn't even read that guy's question. I just said yes, and then he got it right. That's good. Ah, yeah, that's nice. That works out. I mean, it kind of helps that every single clown's question, the answer was yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Can you go between yes. these buildings? Oh, wow. I didn't realize the 3D was that in depth. My bad. I really forgot a lot about... OG Gen 4. I yeah. love it, but I haven't really revisited it in a very long time. Yeah, a lot of people feel like, feel like, like, oh man, Gen 4 and Gen 5, they're not 3D games. Yes, they are. They're they're basically OG HG 2D games. Yeah. Poketch. Yeah, I got the Poketch. I hope right, I can um, pin also, that. Also, uh, just to let you know, you could literally just like like bike past those trainers on the right side yeah there's a gap between them i did walk past them before so yeah i just walked past them the second time what a spoil sport <laughs> okay now there's right. no pokic implemented because i uh welcome how I may still, i serve you i still don't see it in the key items all right so they got no max revive still um and so i got what I do really i have like with me pokech. oh if only i had a pokech to play with <laughs> why don't you get uh get a, like download like an app somewhere that someone made of a pokech a pokech and just put it on the stream <laughs> do you think it would be the corniest idea ever, but do you think you could, like, buy a, like, Android, one of those, like, watches, smartwatch? Oh, yeah, they, that those people it. have made that, yeah. Yeah, just mod it to just be a poke edge and just waste your technology. Yeah. All right, Elite Four time. All right, uh, what was the first guy's type? Dark, you said? Sydney? Mohawk, dude? Uh, yeah, dark type, yeah. It goes dark, ghost, ice. Dragon. Dark Very ghost, underwhelming lineup, ice honestly. Dragon. All right. This, I feel what? like Dark and Ghost being back to back is kind of lazy. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, I guess I can see that. All right, here we go. I put my um, Magnazone in front. I think that's. I think Electric's. Yeah, Electric's good against Dark, right? I don't know. Uh, no, Electric's not good against Dark. It's uh, Okay. Fighting is good against dark. Fighting. Bug is good against dark. Uh, right, 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 right. Well, whatever. At least it's not negative. That's all that matters. Those are the only two things I can think of that are good against dark. At the top of my head. And Magnezone does have sturdy, so it at least has that. It, and it had, uh, you know, Absol had a fighting move, of course, because yeah, of course it does. So, and my yes. move missed, of course. So you know. Yes. It's, uh, you know, whatever. What, uh, area is this one? Like, this is a lake, I believe, or something. It's, like, a very short... Here, ooh, the one on the left? Yeah. Yep. That one uh, has a legendary. I like how the le but... all... Everyone had a legendary in each lake. <clears throat> he, uh, he gave me an old rod here, so you know what? It Jesus Christ! So Wait, I don't need to... Oh, no wonder why. It's 52. Forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And I got an item as well, I got an next accuracy. Also, this is not the way to Meridian City. I'm on the road. No, this is the way to Kennelay if this isn't a lake. The lake's down near the very beginning. But yeah, as I said, if I lose this, I think I am. Um, I'm just ahead of head to Sinnoh. And then I'll come back in a later date and uh Let's finish up Owen. Sinnoh's a lot more fun than fighting the league. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I already had one struggle today. I think I'll, I could put another struggle just for later. Tino brings much joy. I, I, I can't put it into words, but it just it just feels so homely to me. It's just mm -hmm. the place to be for me. I love it. And I'll keep loving it. And you cannot stop me. Agreed. Agreed. Barry, no, don't thud into me. <laughs> oh, he didn't. He stopped right as he reached me. All right. Shift tree is down. All right, Mightyana. Okay. Barley, Barry, you cheater! <laughs> How did you know I was gonna send out a shroomish? All right. Oh, intimidate, of course, of course. Uh, let's do a giga drain heal up a little bit. Uh, nice. It took more than fifty percent of his HP. That's good. I haven't actually found a Starly yet for some reason. Um, I tried I think... looking one for one for a little bit, and it was just Bidoof after Bidoof. Yeah, they appear a little bit later more often. I think Starly are less common. They're starting. Actually, oh, no. It's the, normally you... the first thing I bump into. I think Starly, you find them more often in the grass near the lake. You know what it is? I bet you I can tell you what it is. What? It's because I'm not used to Platinum's encounter rates. I bet that's what it is. Possibly, yeah. I know Luxio's um, in the first area, but it's like really rare. All right. You mean Shinx? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Luxio's the evolved form. My bad. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, the Luxio is that early? I don't know if that seems. I right. have a Shinx actually. I'm pretty sure I caught one because there was a no, no. I don't think I got to that in time. The outbreak. Is there any outbreaks going on in this region right now? Uh, I should check. See, is there any happening right now? Oh, I can't press that button right now. Uh, no, there are not. Then again, I barely have access to this region, so I don't know why I'd even look. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, like I can like barely walk through the front door of this region. I wonder <laughs> if there's anything available to me. <laughs> Crawd. Oh, would you look at that? Um, it's it's over by the the league. I'll get right down there. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there in a minute. I'll speed run this. Oh, I can't buy laws yet? No. And Giga Drain it. This will heal me a lot. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that was instant KO. And that's how he heal me like um, a shit ton. Yeah, that was good. I, how can I quickly and easily get a lore? I need a lore. Also, I heard that you were um, getting a uh, partner link thing with Nintendo. Oh, yeah. I put a post on about that. That was weird. All of a sudden. I got an email from them, and they were like, um... They told me to be transparent about it. So yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, okay, I can talk about it. That's fine. That's good. Um, I would have to put hashtag ad every time, but that's fine. That's um, fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's like a link that basically, like, if anyone wanted to buy anything from Nintendo, I get a 7% commission rate for each purchase you make. And that includes, like, everything. Switch Online memberships, consoles. Wow, that's um, sick. Yeah, uh... I I still don't know why they keep doing this, but I'm very grateful. I think I think they they understand like supporting like smaller content creators is just like it's really good because if you go with a big content creator, it's usually they grow with a sort of an ego in a way, and they're not doing it for fame. A fame they're doing it for themselves more than they're doing it, you know, for just the sport of it. I guess in a way. Yeah. I don't know. There's a sort of there's a disconnect. I feel when you're a big content creator and then there's a, a person doing it as a hobby. It's just really nice to uh, have my Nintendo fanboy lifestyle <laughs> pay <laughs> off. Yeah, true. It's like all I've really played for like pretty much ever. I mean, same. In all the many reboots I've done for this channel, I, the one thing that's always remained predominant is I always play Nintendo games. Yeah. I never really branch out. 
I mean, that's... I want to branch out more. Nothing against Nintendo. It's just I should really play more things, but it's like the it's the, it's my comfort zone. Right. Like I, I definitely want to play more stuff. I mean, I I do have an already diverse plate, but I also just like a lot of games are just like I I feel like oh man I want to try this and then I'm like yeah but what if I don't like it? Do I really want to? <laughs> it's like that's my yeah. whole issue <laughs> because it's like I mean I'll just play something that I know I like. My biggest problem I have is okay. I, I always worry like. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> I don't even like. I've just like replayed that sentence in my head so many times. I'm like I actually don't even know what I was gonna say. Uh, worry Shit. about like your audience. Worry about like people like. Um, I just worry. I just... <laughs> uh, yeah, you just worry. That's I, I genuinely don't know where I was going. Oh, right. I think I was saying, like, the only thing that worries me is they only ever tend to reach out. Like, it's it's co clearly coincidental. But they only ever seem to reach out to me and offer me things when I am playing a lot of fan games. A lot of Nintendo fan games rather than official games. <laughs> it's, it's always, like, right when I'm playing, like, Infinite Fusion and PokeMMO and, you know... Yeah, and that's always like, uh oh, I, I don't really want to put like fan games on the radar and throw them under the bus. I, I honestly, I don't think most most time like a lot of people uh, over worry. I feel about that as long as the game is not like like fighting against like a Nintendo like actual game. Nintendo really doesn't care that often. Yeah, it's like you're probably right. And like for this, you have to own the actual game. So this one is I has been under not really been under the radar since everyone really sort of knows about it so all oh, right yeah. so uh these types are not very effective these types are super effective and the Ghost thing is okay. bar barring um gen 5 i actually genuinely own copies of all the games that are being played in this yeah same i i've owned like every single one I don't have any Gen 5 games, though. I will confess to that. I, I've been wanting them for a long time. But you know what? Nintendo doesn't even sell them. So. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not really taking anything out of their pocket. Because I'd buy if the Gen 5 remake came out, even with my opinion of Gen 5, I'd buy it. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I, I, I honestly would buy it anyway as well. It's just the fact that I just... I want to re-experience Gen 5 because I want to like it. Exactly. It's like I just had a, a very negative opinion. I it was that was my gaming era of where I hated everything new. I hated Pokemon Galaxy, not Pokemon Galaxy, Mario Galaxy. I hated like I is this you everything? Mario Galaxy, wow. Yeah, I just did not like the change from Sunshine to it. I felt it was a step back. You know what? That's I feel like actually that's a fair thing for people to have been upset about because it is quite a dramatic change and people really wanted another Sunshine. Yep. I mean, it's like, it's just, man, it was a letdown for me. <laughs> that era of gaming was a letdown for everything. Like, I was like, I wanted, man, Sunshine was really cool. I had a nice open world and like, uh, sort of like a, a lived in world. Like, I was always about a lived in world. It felt like it was a real thing. You would be able to visit it technically. And then, and then it was like, oh no, we're going to different planets. And these planets are all little, like you throw away areas. And it, it was more closer to those uh, bonus areas in Sunshine. And I was like, no, I didn't. Everyone hated the Sunshine bonus levels for the most part. And now it's everything about this game. And then they added like the larger le levels, which were fine. I like those in uh, Galaxy. But then the ball levels, I hated those. <laughs> Oh yeah. God! Yeah, I still don't remember those very that, fondly. I remember that pissing me off so hard, and that made me quit Galaxy. I did not continue after it. <laughs> I was just frustrated. I believe they call that a skill issue. I mean, I, I yeah, I mean, I agree, and and skillfully oh. that wasn't a skill. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well. And I skillfully, I would say that wasn't really... That was more luck than skill you needed at times. But yeah, um, I need to teach some dark I'm really enjoying playing Galaxy on the Switch uh, in the 3D All-Stars. 
Yeah, I think it would probably be good on. But like... it's not without its flaws. I am gonna go ahead and say, and I will, I will gladly throw myself to the wolves saying this. I <laughs> stand by. I think uh, two is way better than one though. Never played two because you know Galaxy painted it for me. Mm. Mm. That's the same yeah, thing for fair. black, black and white. I never played black and white two because <clears throat> it, black and white tainted it. Have you ever seen any th stuff to do with Black and White 2, or are you completely... I have some to idea to it, but not too much. Because I will say, even at my most... Because I, I mentioned this before many times in this playthrough, actually. Um, I I went into that one super cynical with a friend. We played it in, like, together. Uh, um, kind of Game Grump style, for lack of a better way to describe it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just chat on it the whole time. We did not <laughs> give it a chance. Um, and, um, I will say, even at my most cynical, some of the visuals in that game are really Oh, yeah, it's really it's nice. visually beautiful. Like, that's one thing I, I do agree, Gen 5 looks amazing, as well as, like, it sounds amazing. It was just, like, I was just not happy with the story progression, and then, like, I had some belief that even later, it's, like, the fact that it was so story centric and had like the in, like hand holdy intro was the issue that everyone had later. But everyone's like praises Gen Five because oh my god, it's the best has the best story. It's it, it it's really good. And I'm like it start it literally started the hand holding that everyone else complains about. And I'm like and they're like no no Gen Five is amazing and it's like you're blinded by the nostalgia. <laughs> I was born in that hate. I know what it's like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's like... Hey, I... Oh, uh... uh, I heard of that. What up? No, I didn't want to use another lore. Son of a bitch. Ha. The prompt came up right as I walked up to the Pokemon Center counter, and I thought I was pressing yes on healing. Right, right. That is seriously bad timing. All right, so I'll put my Deli Bird in front since I taught it two dark moves. Hey, you want to hear something that might be cool, it might be lame, depending on your stance? Uh, sure, what's up? I found a fire type to use in Gen 4. Ooh, what is it, Magby? If you, if you use Laws, mm -hmm. you can find an EV in the third route. Oh, nice. You get a false profit. I'm going, I'm going Flareon. I was really considering going Leafeon. Because yeah, I don't fair. have a grass type. Oh, no, I do have a grass type. I have Shroomish. What am I talking about? I actually really like Breloom, too. It's going to take quite a hard thing for me to not use that, because I didn't in Gen 3, and I was kind of surprised very quickly that I didn't, because I don't know why I didn't. But yeah. Oh, I, my God. I have a fire type right from the beginning of Gen 4. That's, That's very good. Yeah. yeah. It has no usefulness in the first gym, at least, though. No, I don't really know when fire is useful in, in Gen 4. I just know I hated, I just know, hated it. <laughs> Gen 4 is the I know first One of the game. things that people meme on about Gen 4 is that like, there's no fire types. So. Yeah, there's like four. Like, no, well, technically five because, you know, Chimchar, Infernape, and then uh, the middle one, Monferno. Oh, I just thought about... Hmm, there might be something that replaces Breloom. It won't be as useful, but I do kind of like it. I might, if I find a Badu. Ooh, that one's a good I one. Don't think I don't Raid. think I've ever used Rose Raid in my life, but I've always thought it was okay. Yeah, Rose Raid's cool. I used that in my uh, original playthrough. I think the only thing that makes me lean towards keeping Breloom is uh, that f I remember it being a really useful fighting type. Breloom is one of those mods that is really good because I believe it has um, uh, priority spore set up, and that's really good. What does that mean? It means that you can have it so you can instantly peril, uh, instantly sleep the opponent and make them first turn in a throw out, make them sleep. Is that a move or an ability? Well, spore is a move. And here, and let me, let me just get the thing here. Free loom. Priority. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's a, a sort of setup thing. Not a setup, but. Uh... My Shroomish has a really useful ability, if I'm not mistaken. What is it? Um... 
Effect spore. All right. So there it is. Blah blah blah. Which is a pretty useful ability from what I've seen. Ooh. Oh, the Zubat has absorb. What the fuck am I doing? Piplup, get out of there. Very decent sport. Actually, I think I might be misremembering, actually. actually. I'm going to give you another chance to talk into the microphone. No, actually, I'm not, because last time my microphone came loose, <laughs> I had to adjust it off. <laughs> you lost your chance forever. You know what? Gen 4. Mm. Never mind. I was thinking of something, but I w no, I was wrong. Do you know what Gen 4 Pokemon I'd really like to use, but it wouldn't be very useful? What? I've always thought Vespiquen was really cool. Uh, yeah, it's also annoying to get because you have to get the female combi and then you have to evolve it. It never really seems to be that hard to find. Like it is and it, it isn't. Is it, yeah, it isn't, isn't. It's, it takes a tiny bit of effort. You know what like, is hard? Because... Getting a, uh, oh. uh, a Munchlax. Hmm. Oh, okay. I, I, sorry, I didn't like the fact that you started that off with, do you know what is hard? That <laughs> kind of scared me a little bit. <laughs> I was like, where are you going with this? <laughs> no, 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 no. I was going down a different parallel path because of, you have to use honey trees to get uh, Munchlax. Sorry, we were talking about bees. You know how it gets. <laughs> yeah, but I was talking about honey because you have to get the honey to get Munchlax. But hey, in, the, Sally, finally. in the original games, you had to... Uh, it, 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 was, it was probably harder to get a Munchlax than a free bass because Didn't you get a free munchlax egg in gen 4 from one of the npcs i feel like I no that. i don't believe so no what what you had to do was you had to it was based off save you know similar to those tiles and it was a chance based so you're not even sure because it is a low chance to get a munchlax in the first place with this honey lathering on the honey trees and so you would go to find a tree and try to uh, lather the honey and try to get the munchlax to come and uh and it happens only once a day and so you would have to come every single day and see if you can get it every uh by chance and then if you didn't you would have to do it again over and over and if it's the wrong tree because it's you can't check a guide because it's different per save um you would then have to go to a different tree but if you're if you're not sure if you're maybe you're just super unlucky it might be that tree you're just at so you have to go back through it again it's it's annoying to I don't say the know least. why i remember having a munch like then that's really weird you might have gotten it through an event um i think you there was an event thing let's see uh, da, 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 da. gen 4 munch lacks. Ba 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 Uh do 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 Uh you might have no Eh yeah it says you can't get them in any of the games. No Yeah That's really strange. Yeah. Uh it's only sweet honey trees or breed Snorlax. Oh, I don't know why I remember receiving an egg. Uh, maybe through the GTS. I never used those things. My internet was awful. Mm. I remember trying to connect to see, um, play uh, Mario Kart DS online back in like 2008 or 9, and it was impossible. Let's see, I'm trying to see if there maybe there was an event of Munchlax. Oh yeah, I didn't have internet in those years. Oh, let's see. Were you in America th during this time? No, definitely not. All right, so not that. Wait, what game? Oh, this is Sun and Moon. Maybe are you misremembering Sun and Moon? I don't know. I'm starting to think this might have just been a false memory in general. Because Pokemon Sun and Moon, uh, via Wi-Fi as an early adopter gift, you would get a Munchlax. I wasn't. Uh, All right. What does early adopter even mean? It means that you bought it, like pre-order it during this, or bought it specific, oh, specifically no. within no, a that. time span, which was... I that after uh, Vinny finished his playthrough, I was like, hey, this game's pretty good. I'm going to go buy it now. Okay. 
Um, that's pretty late to that. Sun and moon. Yeah, it's only sun and moon, it looks like. That's so weird. I guess it's just one of those, like, you know, like sometimes you, you, your brain just makes up memories that didn't happen. I think it's just that. Yeah, maybe. It's, it was an iconic mon to the gen. It's just that unless you bred uh, Munch, uh, Snorlax in, with a, a light, a, like an incense in the game, you wouldn't have gotten an egg from it. So, yeah. No, I was going to say, maybe it was one of the eggs you got from um, Pokemon Ranger, but I'm pretty sure that was just Fionn. I don't think that was Yeah, that's Manaphy, other. yeah. Oh, it was Manaphy? Oh, yeah, then you breed Manaphy for Fionn. Right? Yeah, and then it's, it's like a pointless mon. Like, why would you want a Fionn? <laughs> yeah, it's true. But, eh, it's whatever. It's cool. It's unique. I, I never beat Pokemon Ranger. It got really difficult, I felt. I liked it. it I, I played I the first one, never got the sequel because I didn't know there was a sequel at the time. And then I was like, this yeah. This sound really silly, but, like, as a kid, it stressed me out. Oh, that, yeah. Um, every time I played it, I was putting these, like, circle marks all over my touch screen. Yeah. So I, I mean, hated playing it because I felt like I was damaging my console. Oh, it was, yeah. Oh, it was? <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. That's a known yeah, thing. Yeah, I felt like I was, like, you... scratching it up. I felt like those didn't really come out. Yep, you were scratching it up. That's that's the th main thing that people had issues with because it was so oh, okay. damaging. But yeah, I mean, I I was I wasn't too hard on it, so I was lucky. I always did it at a slant when I did the swirling, so it didn't put pressure on it. But I remember yeah. there was this one very specific bit where you had to. It was like two or three salamences. Yeah. And I couldn't do it, and I just gave up. That one was hard. Yeah. And I never ever went back to I don't even know if I still have I don't think I have that I think that's one of the many things that me trying to be a good family member gave to someone that probably doesn't have it anymore that's bad bad decisions all around yeah that's relatable I gave my Wii to my uh, so like... my nieces and I'm like ah and then my brother yeah. uh, my brother's uh, like what's it homebrewed it and it's like man I could have had a homebrewed Wii. I was uh, so very, very proud of um, my oh. collection. And absolutely, the thing about me is I will never give up my game collections. So, like, unless I'm giving it to someone that I think will, like, cherish it, mm -hmm. which I'm, I've been 100% wrong about every single time. <laughs> <laughs> um uh, for me, they're like a collection that I keep until I, until I'm dead. You know, I'm not gonna sell that for anything. Um, I know how valuable some of the old like Pokemon games are, but they're mine. I'm not getting rid of them. Um, uh, right. And then I go and I give them to like family members, and I look back and I'm like, how much you wanna bet that they like don't have them anymore? <laughs> they've like they've either like misplaced them or like carelessly traded them away or like you know sold them whatever. Yeah. And uh, I would be very proud to still have them. So I feel like those were horrible decisions that at the time felt like I was just doing something nice. Alright. Fire. Fighting. Alright, so... I'll run with Snorlax in the lead against uh, Glacier, whatever her name is. Glacier. Or oh boy. I got Rock Smash. I'm so happy to get my favorite HM again. Ah, lovely. What about you? I, yeah, I don't care about you. I just want to beat you, and then this is my third, uh, or the fourth Elite Four, so I'm making progress here. I will say, so far, looking at my team, uh, it's too early to obviously say we've only just begun Gen 4, but right now, I feel confident in saying that, uh, Empoleon, Gallade, and Flareon should probably stay on my team for most, if not all, of this playthrough. That's fair. The other three right now, very likely to change. I don't see me using an Agron, a Togekiss, or a Breloom forever. I think, how much damage do you I think he... I think that could have been a high roll, so let me go. Yeah, that was a high roll, looks like. Oh, I know, Super Fang does half your health. Okay, yeah, that's fair. 
Oh, he has two glalies, or she has two glalies. Ugh. That's a big one right into the microphone, too. Holy moly. What was that? He went like oh. right into the microphone. Oh, I didn't hear it on my end. Mod viewers, go back. Yeah, go back. Play back. Clip it. Oh, so if Ship you're it. a VOD viewer and you're four hours and 55 minutes into this video... Shout out <laughs> to you. you. <laughs> yeah, shout out to you. I don't believe you're a real person, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I hit a point in these where, like, once I've started recording, I'm like, yeah, this is for the live audience, really. The VOD's just there if anyone ever decides they want to watch it. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Like, that's why I like splitting it up, just because, you know, it's just nice to have and... Uh, I can literally like get an idea like, oh, this is this, this specific happening happened up to here, and I got up to this point. Like, it helps me like understand like, oh, the progress through. But yeah, it's like it's. I know you only started recording yours from Hoen, yeah. Hoen, but I gotta say, I'm very curious to find out how long this playthrough is going to have been by the time it's finished. Yeah, I do wonder. It's definitely an easy 100 hours. There's no doubt about that. Right, yeah. I think we're at like... 60 or something? It does say on your trainer card, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, time played 83 hours. 97 hours. But that will include off-screen play, so that's not... Yeah, not 100% accurate, but yeah. For example, I don't know how you're 14 hours above me in playtime. Um, what did I do? I mean, I know you were modding at one point, so. Uh, yeah, that was I a that, was that one didn't take too long, but I did something. I can't remember what I did. Uh, well, I did play catch up for a bit in yeah. one of the regions, Johto, and I had issues. I remembered. Um, and then yeah. That's fair. yeah. And also, like, I, the last um, stream I did, it was, um, I was an hour and a half of, or so, of extra video, so. I probably have, like, between five and eight hours, I would estimate, where I was, like, trying to do the Pokedex off screen. Yeah, that's fair. I don't think mine's, like, too huge, if I had to guess, but, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd estimate at least, like, five, five to eight-ish hours. Because I remember playing it on my Steam Deck until the battery started running out. Mm. Hey. It was during one of my weeks off of work. God, I missed those weeks off of work. <laughs> you have two frost ashes. Ugh. Have you thought about just going and looking in the kitchen rather than meowing at me? Uh, no, I haven't. Let <laughs> me do that. You might be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> This is what happened yesterday. He, he started acting really crazy towards the end of my Infinite Fusion stream. And uh, as soon as I was done, I got up and he just immediately ran to the kitchen. I was like, yeah, I, I knew it wasn't just because you wanted attention. <laughs> and, then, and then he he goes over to his bowl. There's already food in it. He just starts eating it. And it's like, yeah, you didn't even need to do all of that. <laughs> it's right there. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. He, 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 even look. he just wanted you to know that he was hungry and that he he's gonna eat and he doesn't want he wants your permission to eat <laughs> right 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 you know what I'm gonna test that right now actually I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly BRB and I'm gonna find out <laughs> all right <laughs> if that will get him to settle down all right and I think I got frost last down it looks like so one more elite four member and then champion and we're good yeah this is going pretty well i i honestly didn't think that this would happen but you know it's happening uh metal sand what does this do i uh, horribly believe it right again <laughs> yep <laughs> there you go now you got a a trick trick to uh a quick trick i should say you get that too. Yeah, he just immediately, like, he'll wake up from sleeping on the desk right next to me for, like, <laughs> several hours. And then he'll just be like, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. And it's like, just go look. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, God, his bowl was, like, 
bowl to his belly even touched what was in it previously. Uh, all right. Witchy and impatient. Yeah, that sums up Barry pretty nicely. All right, now I'm on to Drake. You're slow like always. So, lead with my Kingdra. And then we have the champion after this. This will be interesting. I always like the music in um, Orba. Honestly, this has been such a br like fresh breath of air compared to. <laughs> oh man, I, I feel bad for anyone watching like the oh, previous like VOD of uh, me taking on that one gym for uh, how many hours was that? Yeah, I felt I felt so bad. I didn't want to say anything at the time, but I was like, man, <laughs> yeah. this has got to have been most of your stream so far. <laughs> But yeah, oh my god, that was bad. That was rough. But I mean, hey, we're now doing decent. It was that was just that so one this is gym. Pretty was... interesting. They actually have one of the trainer classes cosmetics available in Orba. Oh, nice. You can buy the camper hat. Huh. The little, the little green hat. That's kind of cool. Still got my Kingdra. I, okay. I don't want it, but like it's kind of cool that it's available. Alright, um, Actually, I don't really like any of the cosmetics that are available here. What is dragon type weak against again? Oh, it was dragon and ice, was it? Oh. No, no, it was fair, fairy, so yeah. You All know right. why you can't oh, buy ice. Dawn's hat in the stops? I'm pretty sure that's one of the vanity, vanity items. Yeah, the beanie costs. Uh, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Points. Right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, I got rid of my ice tape on my deli bird. Dang it. That's a shame. That's kind of a nice looking hat. I like that it has physics when you walk. It's yeah, fluffy. it's cool. Oh my god! Someone's getting one. sleepy. Well, that was a, I had a scratch on my head, so instinctively when I scratch my head, I yawn sometimes. Yo, they've got cat headphones in uh, LEDs now. Oh, no, oh, nice. I didn't even think to check if they had any new cosmetics. Um. Let's see, I'll use thunder. Thunder. Uh, thunder. Oh, you said that Flygon? Oh man. Don't you ever. Oh wait, your ground type. Don't you ever bring that song around <laughs> me again, mister. <laughs> uh as someone that actually quite enjoyed uh Imagine Dragons, I feel like Thunder was a turning point. <laughs> My interest in them. Well, I'm a That's believer. Not really that really did some damage. Believe it was actually a pretty good song. I just think it's a little overplayed. Well, it was overplayed because it was it was debuted in Nintendo Switch's uh, promotion trailer, like announcement trailer. I didn't even know it was used for that. Yep, that was how it got revealed, and that was the, the song was first shown because Nintendo was, was a believer. The last in it. time that song was shown. Yep. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Nintendo. Nintendo, like, uh, I mean, Imagine Dragons is a huge, like, gamer. Like, they're gamers, and that's why, like... Yeah, for example, they make, like, hype music. <laughs> yeah, and also, um... What was it? It was uh, the Game Awards. Is when, uh... What's his name? I the One of the lead players, or whatever, did a collab of Koji Kondo. I think it was Koji Kondo. They did a Zelda theme. So, they probably... That's where they, they hit it off, and like, Oh, yo, I can make a song... For your like promotion or whatever, and say, like, oh, hey, blah, blah, blah. that will work pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah 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 blah. I genuinely think they're an okay. Yeah, they're band. decent. Just, they're, they just make just a lot of generic really stuff. I don't like Thunder. That's the only song of theirs I've heard. I'm like, I, I fucking hate Thunder. I don't mind it too much. It's it's, it's just a hard a, song to get past. It, it's just a um, what's it called? Um, just a background song. It's like you don't really need to pay attention to it. It's the stuff that you would hear on the radio when you're going through the mall or going through a store. And that's that's all it is, really. Yeah. That and also well, being at a at a sports stadium. Generally. Yeah. They either do like really hype music or they do like just noise. <laughs> yeah. Just comfortable, easy consuming noise. Yep. And it works, it sells. So hey, it's they're doing sound right. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna lose here. 
Earthquake is a little bit There is one uh, small way that, that, like, I don't think has ever really gotten any radio play, to my knowledge, that I think is really good, which is Tiptoe. Tiptoe, Tiptoe. I don't recall that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it was, like, a hit. I think it's just an album track, but... Yeah. Because I had their first two albums. I bought them many, many years ago. Nice, nice. Uh, but yeah, then after that, I, I, I kind of fell off, and I've never really gotten back on. Oh man, you're imagine you fell off with the Imagine Dragons. Ugh. Yeah. You're not a real fan. Us dragon, yeah. us dragon ears are. Mm, are dragon ears. <laughs> Free dusk ball, very nice. Uh, if that isn't their name, man, that that'd be uh, that's a good name for them. Natural made me sick of that band. That's an interesting one. I. Natural See, I don't okay. even know the names. Like, what's what's, like, what's natural? And also, I just lost, so I'm heading. I'm heading how, over. How, to... how am I supposed to describe natural to you? I don't know. The, natural. The, the lyrics. I, say like the lyrics. What are the lyrics? <laughs> oh, that song. Okay, yeah. yeah. That was okay. So, fun fact: when I first heard that song, it was on my work radio. And uh, this might be like a really bad thing to say because I feel like people would take this offensively. When I first heard that song, my genuine thought was, wow, they're playing some Shinedown on the radio right now. I was like, <laughs> oh, it's Shinedown. Shinedown got on my work radio. That's awesome. And I found it was Imagine Dragons. It was just, oh, I guess they do kind of have similar voices. But I feel like Shinedown fans wouldn't want to hear that. Yeah, I like Radioactive. Radioactive is good. It's a classic. Uh, it's weird it's to say funny. that's a classic now. But yeah. It's... It is pretty old, isn't it? It's like 15 years old. Yeah. And I am yeah. heading to Sinnoh because I didn't want to do the champion. <laughs> because I lost. Yeah, you do not want to deal with Wallace. He sucks. If I lost to Drake, I would probably lose. Yeah, to Wallace Hard. Oh 